Hey everybody, we're going to create a user, sign him to a dynamic group, and then get him ask access to an enterprise application. So let's go into Azure Active Directory and create a new user. Alright, go over here, we'll take Carol. And then we'll make sure Carol has our tenant name in here. And then down here, as we click on Carol, we're going to get pretty much a temporary password that we're going to write down. But later, we can actually look at 0365, which might be a might be a better way actually to reset passwords. We need that temporary password for our first login. All right, so we have Carol. Let's so we'll create Carol. There she is. Now Carol's going to be in the sales department, which is associated to a dynamic group. So let's go into Carol's profile and assign her down here to the sales department. Alright, that's good to go. Save that. Click in the white space and you'll see save is an option. Alright, now we're ready to go over and create the actual, or bring in the application. Alright, so let's close out the user's blades. And go over back to Azure Active Directory and click on Enterprise Applications. We'll go up to All Applications and then up here we'll add in our new application. Alright, like I said, we're going to have a corporate-based Twitter account. So we're going to look for Twitter and come down and add the Twitter software as a service app in. All right, this comes down where we'll control the username and password as I said over here and we're just going to add that application in. And in a second we get the Twitter quick start blade and then down here we'll be able to control how these users log into this application under single sign-on. We're looking again to just have this be a password based sign-on and then right we'll just save that up here and that'll embed that into again the group over here we're going to assign so let's go into using groups and we'll assign this out to our dynamic group the sales group so we're looking to assign this to our sales group which again Bob should have access to because he has the attribute associated to this group which is dynamic right, so we're going to add that in and then down here we can actually control the credentials right for this group of people so they go in we can just assign the credentials here and we would control again the user account of who logs into Twitter right based off their password also and then later if they do change the password out there right we can have that password uh, be changed here and so it's corporate controlled Now, with that assignment to the group, we could have this as self-service where they go to the My Apps portal and right, the application could show up out there. They could click on the app and request access. Somebody down here could approve that access. That could be done. We could also have the ability right, to say if they get into the application, we can set up a conditional access here also. Right, conditional access would say that you know when a user is outside the company or when they're a specific group like the sales group, they would have to log in or be challenged right, to log in. So we could come up here and say again, right, this group, the sales group. Right, so again, we're looking for a specific group, the sales group. And we're saying again, when the sales group here, right, wants to get into this application. Right, so we'll hit done. We're going into this application, which would be the Twitter app, right, which is already there. That conditionally, right, they're going to have to get access, granted access, based on being challenged with MFA. Well, you can also say, hey, the you know device needs to be uh, required as compliant. That would take into Intune, like Android or iOS devices. Or again, right, domain join now, which would be like Windows 10 could be, you know, Azure AD joined. So again, when this group of users get into this application, they're going to be challenged or right with MFA. And we will make sure that we enable that policy. And we'll go ahead and create that policy. Yep, got to give it a name. So we'll just say MFA for Twitter, and that's it. MFA for Twitter. Make sure we make that look good. We'll go ahead and create that, and then we'll go out and test it with Bob's account or Carol, Carol's account, Carol's in sales. All right, we're gonna log out here as Carol. And then she should be challenged with that password reset. Let's get her signed in. Of course, she's going to be prompted up for a password reset. And of course, we're going to do 
that. And then try to use some kind of password that's never been used before. And that should get her in. And once Carol's in, we can again confirm that she has access to the portal here. But again, what she really would probably have access to is over here into the My Apps portal. So we'll go into My Apps. Dot Microsoft.com. Up here you can see, right? It takes you to the login to Microsoft Online, which should pass you through. And there you go. Access to the Twitter account based on being right in the sales. So the sales attribute associated with the Dynamic Group gives her access to the application here. She clicks on the application. It should again, right, require her to set up MFA. Right? So your admin is not required here. She cannot get past this point until again she goes and sets it up. And of course, right, whatever region she's in, she'll add her cell phone, have the auto attendant call her back, right, hit the pound symbol. Or again, you can use the, you know, the SMS text messaging and have that code sent to you. And she'd be in, right? The credentials would be controlled by the corporate side. All right.